Okay, so let's talk handle material. Um, what we have here is an ash log that floated down the creek last spring um, from somewhere upstream. And uh, it's actually pretty decent size. Uh, and there's about a good 20 feet of it. Uh, and I would like to cut this up and use it before it starts to rot. Instead of using a chainsaw, I just got this big old misery whip that used to belong to my grandfather. And I am going to basically cut this log here halfway through, right about five and a half feet down from that cut there, and split off this section. So I made that cut at about five and a half feet from sort of the longer end here. It's not a square cut on this log. Um, and I cut a little bit pretty close to halfway through and it didn't go too bad. I mean, I wouldn't want to cut up all my firewood like that, but uh, for this, I'm sure this saw hasn't been sharpened in um, 40 years and uh, went pretty easy, especially considering this log is frozen. It's about eight degrees out. It was a little bit ago. So um, yeah, it's definitely frozen. <laughs> Okay, so I've been working on this for a little while, quite the workout, um, and you can kind of see what I was talking about with the twist. You can see there's kind of, a, the grain is sloping, you know, this one starting in the, this center cut, the, the grain is ending, is sliding down and splitting from this side, it's sliding up, you know, so I'm definitely going to have some kind of a funky situation here in the middle. But, uh, man, this has been hard. The regular splitting wedges just do not want to grab in. They are bouncing right out. I'm going to keep working on this. It is um, aerobic. Well, got it split. Um, didn't quite go how I expected. It actually, if you look at it, it split really, really straight without a twist. Except this entire split was from the split that I started from the cut rather than, you know, from this previously cut end. And so what ended up happening is this piece that I split off, I've got this other split that I started from the cut end inside this chunk. Um, but I don't know if that's a big deal or not, given that, you know, anyway, that's just how it happened. I, I wasn't, that's never, that's not how it's ever happened for me before. I've never actually had one split out from one end this flat. Um, and you can actually kind of see on the cut that I made with the, uh, my grandfather saw there, I actually cut, let's get closer, there's the pith right there and maybe, I think the reason it was so damn difficult to get this started on this end was there was actually a knot hidden on the other side of the log here that I had to break through and then there was some kind of, um, this is some old bark inclusion or an injury or something there. Um, so I had to bust through that, but I think this was it right here. But uh, yeah, eventually I got it split to about here, got the crack going, and then I was able to get these bigger wedges in. And then, you know, I just started walking them down, got this one in, and then it just popped right open. Um, and very, very flat. So if this piece doesn't work for me, I may be, able, I, I should be able to come back here once this is thawed, this is frozen tight to the ground. I mean, it hasn't even budged. Um, but once it thaws, I can come back here. Hopefully it hasn't floated off and uh, cut this and salvage the rest of this, you know. Um, 
so this is a little bit of work for just a pair of handles although if if I can cut it up um, I may get more than that more handle stock than that out of this um, I mean because a lot of this is nice clear ash it's still sound um, that's not really rot there that's just staining from the cut end you know and so um, we you know it's a little bit knotty here in the center but out out here this is pretty straight grained and uh, yeah it's nice nice still sound ash and uh, I like making things out of ash um, because you know I've got you can see over there that's my wood lot there's a lot of ash in there and the beetle is not too far away they say you know a decade or so all that ash is going to be dead so I kind of cut it preferentially for firewood and um, and I like to make things out of it just so you know we'll have some when it's all gone and uh, who knows maybe it'll adapt and get used to the beetle but uh, didn't happen in Michigan so I decided to split this half log just because it was freaking heavy and I got to scramble out of this creek bed <laughs> 